Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this nail design. I um, recently did a set of nails and I got quite a few requests on how to do the sort of feature nail. Um, the nails were inspired by She's Erica um, on Instagram. I'll leave her links and stuff. Um, and basically this was a sheer tint sort of black nail so I don't know if you can really see it on the pot but it's got sort of a sheer tint to it and then it had all of this black detailing on it so you guys wanted to see it so here it is so if you want to find out how I created this nail then just stay tuned so for this tutorial today I'm going to be using the Magpie nail art brushes. So I'm going to use all three. So we've got the detailer, the illustrator and the striper brush. And obviously I have the gold lids as well that are available on the website. And then I'm going to be using Gelish Top It Off which is just a normal gel top coat. So you can use whichever one you want to. And then I'm going to be using OPI Gel Colour Artist Series. So these are the gel paints. And this one is Tari Tari Night. And then I'm just going to be using my sort of ring palette. You can use whatever you want to. This is just to mix the sort of sheer tint together. So I'm just going to be showing you on a nail pop today. So if you're doing this on natural nails, I strongly suggest that you do your normal prep work, your base coat. Um, then I would put down either a sort of clear structure gel or perhaps a... Um, sheer pink French type of colour just so that you've got your normal amount that you would have in your gel gel manicure. If you just go straight from base to top coat there's nothing in the middle and you kind of need something in the middle so just say that I've put you know structure gel or whatever onto this nail pop or a sheer pink French colour because then we're going to go on and make up our sheer tint. So I've got my ring palette and my top it off. So I'm just gonna put some of the top it off onto the palette. Then I'm gonna get my um, gel paint. So, and I'm just gonna get the Magpie Illustrator brush. So, and I'm just gonna pick some of the gel paint up and start mixing it into the um, top coat so as you can see you really don't need a lot and I'm just gently mixing this together I'm not going straight down and ruin it in the brush I'm going sort of sideways and just mixing it gently in together so I want to start putting the sheer tin on to the finger so I'm actually going to get my top it off brush I'm just going to give it a bit of a wipe just with um, a lymph free wipe and I'm just going to scoop up the sheer tint and just start painting onto the nail and the reason I use the top it, top it off brush is just because I find um, it easier to control because I'm used to doing it basically. So, and I'm just adding a nice even coat of that sheer tint. Remembering to cap the free edge, so then I'm going to cure that in my lamp. Okay, so on the nail pop, obviously this looks very, very sheer. When I did the design on my nails, I was obviously putting the top coat on cover pink acrylic. So, again, that's probably why it's quite a good idea for you to put uh, maybe a nude or you know like a sheer pink colour underneath um, and I only did one coat but actually in this particular purpose I'm just going to do another coat it won't hurt because it's so sheer it's not going to make the nail opaque or anything but it's just going to be bring a bit more of the black through so that we can see it especially on the nail pop like that so then I'm just going to cure that in my lamp again so and obviously I just need to clean my top it off brush so all I'm going to do just use a little bit of cleanse nothing not a lot 
just before you put it back into the top coat bottle and then that's all ready for next time. Okay, so now that's been cured, I'm just gonna dry wipe the top coat to remove the tacky layer before we start putting on the nail art. So obviously I'm gonna use the OPI um, gel paint. I'm going to start off by using the Magpie Detailer Brush, which is the smallest of the three. And what I'm going to do is dip it into the paint and then sort of brush it off on the side. So we've got a lot on the brush, but not sort of a big thick bit. And I'm going to do the outline of the nail. So then I'm just going to cure that in my lamp. So that's been cured. So if you want to, you can go back over and just sort of intensify that black outline because it's quite a feature of the nail. So. So then the next bit is I'm sort of going to earmark where the sort of triangle is going to be. So I want the point to be about there and then I want the triangle to sort of start around there. So then I'm going to get my Magpie Striper Brush So and I'm going to dip it in and then the same sort of thing just wiping off the excess but it's sort of spreading all of the paint out onto the brush so then I'm just going to draw the outline of the triangle so then I'm just going to cure that in my lamp so then we've got the two lines coming out of the triangle bit like that and then we've just got the sort of triangle bit at the bottom so again I'm just going to kind of earmark So I'm going to cure that in my lamp. So you can always go back over those lines. So and then just to finish and get my illustrator brush. All I want to do is fill in the top triangle. So, and then I'm going to cure that in my lamp. So then just to finish off, I'm going to get my top coat again. So, and I'm going to do a nice floaty layer first over the nail, just so we make sure that none of that black sort of drags. And I'm going to cure that in my okay, lamp. So once that's been cured, I just like to do another top coat just to make sure that everything is completely sealed in so and I'm just going to cure for one more time so and finally I'm just going to wipe the inhibition layer off so and there you have the finished result so it's really good for an accent nail um you know just sort of a little feature nail and things like that and it's quite easy to do and you could do it in a variety of different ways as well this is just the way that I did it 
So I hope that you liked this tutorial guys. Please like and subscribe for future videos and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.